and it's me cooking with Antel. So these are the ingredients you're going to need for the cream sauce. You're going to have some fettuccine, parmesan, roasted bell peppers, fresh bell peppers, garlic, heavy cream, and basil. Try to get the freshest basil that you can find because it is important in the recipe. All right, so while you prepped all that, you want to make sure that your fettuccine is boiling in some water. Okay, then you're going to throw some butter into a pan. You're going to saute the red peppers with the garlic until it's soft and fragrant. Then you're going to add in the jarred bell peppers and you're going to cook it until it's nice and warm and soft as well. You're going to pull out a lot of that liquid that comes from the jarred roasted red peppers. And that's good because you're going to use it in the blender to create the sauce. I started recording to wait here. So anyway, you're just going to blend away until it's a thin consistency. And then what you're going to do is you're going to put it right back into the same pot. And you're going to heat it up until it has a little bit of a boil going on. Okay, as you can see right here. Uh, so you add in your heavy cream because obviously this recipe is a cream sauce. Very fattening, but extremely delicious and it's worth it. So you're going to need a slurry made with cornstarch to thicken it all up. As you can see right here, that's about the thickness you need. Make sure that your liquid is cold so it doesn't become chunky when you add it to your sauce. Whisk away. Don't stop whisking. Don't pick up your phone. Don't let anyone disturb you. Keep going. Because if you stop while you're whisking, it's going to get chunky and disgusting and no one's going to want to eat it. All right, so the next step is you add in your grated Parmesan cheese and you whisk that in as well. And you just wanna make sure everything's well incorporated. You don't want it to be chunky. You want it to be a creamy, smooth sauce that's nice on the palate, okay? So keep whisking away. And then what you do, the next step is you, you know, put it into a big bowl and let it cool off for a little while. Then what you do is you add in your spaghetti to the saute pan and you just add your sauce into the spaghetti or fettuccine, whatever pasta you use. I use fettuccine because that's what I had on hand. So for me, it's important to add your pasta into the saute pan and then sauce it and then kind of warm it up and heat it that way. It gets everything um, incorporated and it sticks on to the pasta much better that way. So this is what it looks like when it's done. You want to top it with some grated Parmesan cheese and some fresh basil and it's really easy and it's a versatile recipe that you can add grilled chicken to or shrimp or sausage whatever be creative for me I just had a carb load I didn't add any meat but it is what it is it's not like I was looking for some protein or healthier I cooked this in heavy cream and butter let's be real so anyone who tries this recipe and you have any feedback let me know how it came out like the video, share the video, and if you haven't subscribed, shame on you. Do so now and share it with your family and friends. All right, well, thanks for watching. Bye.